Have you ever wanted something so bad in your life, whether it be a relationship or a job, and it just didn't happen and you felt completely rejected? Hi, I'm Carrie Murphy, CEO and founder of Inspired Living, and today we're gonna to talk about how to bounce back from rejection. Now, I grew up in the entertainment industry where no was more common than yes ever was. I got used to people saying no to me all the time, and I think it was one of the things that really helped me become successful is not taking it personally. And I know that's really hard because when you want something, whether it be a relationship or maybe it's that perfect job or that role that you've just been pining over and they pass you up, it's really easy to look in, into the mirror and go, what's wrong with me? Why didn't I get it? But when you understand that it's not personal, that you know, I remember when I was auditioning, they might want a blonde. I'm a brunette, that wasn't gonna happen. Sometimes the decisions they make really have nothing to do with you. So my first tip on bouncing back from rejection is don't take it personally. The second tip on how to bounce back is understand that there's a greater reason and purpose. And I know that might sound a little cliche, but for everything in my life that I have not gotten when I really wanted it, it was because eventually there was something greater that showed up. And I promise you that whether it be a relationship that's gone awry or a job position that you really wanted, if you understand that that wasn't meant for you, it wasn't your time and it wasn't the right relationship and it wasn't the right job, then you can free yourself up and not feel so bogged down, understanding that there is something much greater waiting for you. So don't spend your time worrying about what didn't work and start focusing on what can work. And the third tip I wanna give you is to really look within yourself and see how you might evolve. I believe taking personal responsibility in my life is a huge proponent of what shows up. When we can look and say, you know what, what did I do? How did I contribute to this happening? Maybe you don't have the skills that you need for that job, or maybe you weren't the right partner for that particular person. Whatever it may be that you're going through where you feel rejected, try to look within yourself without taking it personally. Get the ego out and really look at how can I evolve? How can I become better? What other skills and attributes can I bring into my next relationship or my next opportunity? Rejection's just a mindset. It's our ego pulling on us. But I promise you this, if you focus on what's ahead of you and you let go of what's behind you, there is so much incredible success, both personally and professionally, just waiting for you. I would love to hear from you. Have you felt rejected? Do you currently feel rejected? And how do you work past that? Or are you kind of stuck in that, you know, feeling rejected mode? Post your comments below because when you're inspired, then you inspire others. And Inspired Living is all about building community so you can continue to dream it, live it, and be it. Until next time.